A boy named Jimmy Livingston is born with no immunity. Even a small germ can kill him, so he must be kept in isolation. He cannot touch anything unless it has been decontaminated. As a result, in order to survive, he must spend his entire life inside a bubble-like plastic sphere. His mother, Mrs. Livingston, is overly protective of her son. He wasn't allowed to come home until he was four years old. However, after he turned four, she and Mr. Livingston brought the little boy home in his bubble. His room, too, has a large bubble that allows him to walk inside. The bubble has protruding hands, which his parents can use to touch him. All of his toys are decontaminated to remove even the smallest germs and stored inside the bubble. Jimmy has stayed in that room ever since. Mrs. Livingston does not want him to leave the bubble, so she concludes all bedtime stories with the princess dying because they were set free. He is only permitted to watch one television channel and read one magazine because Mrs. Livingston claims they are the only ones ever produced. She also uses the protruded arms to cut his hair and hug him. Mrs. Livingston is an extreme nationalist, so she only teaches Jimmy what she thinks is reasonable and imposes her beliefs on him. However, Jimmy doesn't know any better and goes along with it. Everyone in the city is aware of the unique bubble boy, but this does not benefit him. Instead, the neighbor kids wrap themselves in plastic wrap and mock Jimmy outside his house, prompting Mrs. Livingston to chase them away on multiple occasions. Jimmy only eats homemade meals. A decontamination system has been installed in a plastic tube where Mrs. Livingston keeps his food to kill germs before Jimmy can retrieve it. Jimmy is currently 16 years old. He describes how he grew up like any other kid and is overjoyed when he receives an electric guitar instead of a car. Until one day, he is at his window and notices a new girl his age, Chloe, moving into his neighborhood. He's grown to like the girl but can't do anything about it. More importantly, he knows nothing about love or girls. His mother detects his attraction and tells Jimmy a story about a boy who died after touching that next door whore. For the next few years, Jimmy frequently watches Chloe through his windows, she also notices him watching her. He narrates that he knows something is happening to him, but he doesn't know what. He awakens one morning with an erection and becomes terrified. Unknown to the concept, he hits himself with a bat, crying and calling his mother. Mrs. Livingston walks in and makes him repeat the Pledge of Allegiance until he calms down. Chloe has a group of popular friends who mock Jimmy, calling him the Bubble Boy. She appears to be defensive of him. She knocks on Mr. Livingston's door one day, and he welcomes her inside. She is fascinated by the system of plastic tubes throughout the house. She follows the tube until she reaches Jimmy's room. Jimmy is surprised and concerned because his mother is the only woman he has spoken with. Chloe talks to him and expresses her admiration for his guitar. Jimmy tries to teach her how to play with protruding hands. He begins reciting the Pledge of Allegiance in the midst of it. Since then, the two have been hanging out every day. Mrs. Livingston dislikes their friendship but has no way of changing it. A montage of them spending time together then appears. She gives him a guinea pig inside a ball for his birthday and even invites children into his room for Halloween. On her birthday, Chloe sneaks into Jimmy's room through the windows while drunk. She tries to enter the bubble, claiming she can't stay away from him any longer. However, she passes out before entering. The scene shifts to Chloe's prom night. When her perverted boyfriend, Mark, comes to pick her up, Jimmy is devastated. Mark offers Jimmy a cigarette, but he has no idea what it is. One night, Jimmy witnesses Mark and Chloe kissing through his windows. The very next day, Chloe enters Jimmy's room and displays her engagement ring. Mark had asked her to marry him. Their wedding is this weekend in Niagara Falls, and she has come to inform Jimmy. Jimmy is disappointed, but he keeps a straight face. She's also brought him a gift, which she keeps inside his decontamination tube, but Jimmy ignores it. Instead, he hands her the guinea pig back and asks her to leave. Chloe leaves with tears in her eyes. Later, Jimmy opens the gift to find a snow globe with the words, I love you, written inside. Surprised, he screams her name and decides to go to Niagara Falls to cancel the wedding. He works hard to make himself a portable bubble shield, and is finally successful. Then, he sneaks out of the house without his parents knowing. Jimmy is happy to be running for the first time, he reaches the bus station and asks the person there for a bus ticket. However, Jimmy has forgotten to bring any money. Distressed, he tries to cross the road, when he is hit by a bus. He goes flying to the ground, but his bubble saves him. The people from the bus come out and offer to give him a ride. Jimmy happily accepts it, but he gets to know that the people are part of a religious cult. When he points it out, they angrily throw him out of the bus. The cult group reaches their destination, where their leader announces a roundman inside a globe to be the savior sent by God. The group realizes that Jimmy was their savior, and sets off to look for him to take him out of the globe. Plot meanwhile, Jimmy meets a biker named Slim. Jimmy tells him about the love of his life marrying someone else. Slim is impressed, and in turn tells him of his old girlfriend who he still loves named Wildfire. He then offers Jimmy a ride, and both of them make their way to Niagara Falls. At home, Mrs. Livingston finds Jimmy missing and freaks out. Mrs. Livingston and her husband set out to look for Jimmy, because the police would only do it after 24 hours of the disappearance. 
Elsewhere, Slim and Jimmy reach Vegas and stop to rest. They have a lot of fun at a casino, but Jimmy only has two days before the wedding. So, he leaves Slim at the club, steals a scooter, and runs away in it. After traveling for a while, Jimmy comes across his parents' car, who tries to stop him from running. In a hurry, Jimmy gets into an accident. But thankfully, his bubble bounces him into a running train. He escapes his mother but is now trapped in a train with talents from a freak show. The freaks tell him about their boss, Dr. Freak, who keeps them captured and uses them in his freak show. Jimmy meets Dr. Freak, who happens to be a dwarf. He accidentally throws the men to the ground with his bubble and frees the other freaks. Then he continues his way to Niagara Falls. But he can hardly use a scooter anymore, so he goes to a restaurant to ask someone for a ride. There, a bunch of police officers bully a man named Pushpop. When Jimmy tells them he has no immunity, they assume Jimmy has a contagious disease and run away from the place. The restaurant catches on fire in the chaos, and Pushpop offers Jimmy a ride. He also agrees to take him to Niagara Falls. Somewhere else, Mrs. Livingston reaches Dr. Freak, who tells her that Jimmy is going to Niagara Falls. Furious, she calls Chloe and yells at her for making Jimmy run away. As she talks to Dr. Freak, the freaks outside steal her car. Pushpop and Jimmy are on their way, when they hit a cow in the middle of the road. Pushpop is distressed because, in his religion, cows are a symbol of God, but following his mother's word, Jimmy tells him that his religion is false. This offends Pushpop, so he leaves Jimmy on his own. Jimmy then somehow reaches New York, he asks for a ride from an old man named Pippi, to which he agrees. Jimmy wakes up the next morning and the man is still driving the car. Jimmy soon realizes that Pippi is lying lifeless, and the car hits a billboard. Jimmy goes into a grocery store and calls Chloe. Mark picks up the phone and tells Jimmy to give up, because he is about to marry Chloe in an hour. He is now hopeless, so he calls his mother and asks her to come to pick him. Both his parents drive to him, and get him inside the car. Mrs. Livingston goes to the washroom, when Mr. Livingston asks Jimmy how it felt to be outside for the first time. The father and son bond. Mr. Livingston tells Jimmy to not give up before trying. Taking his words, Jimmy runs to stop the wedding. Mrs. Livingston sees this, and follows him in their car. At the same time, the cult group finds Jimmy and follows him as well. Slim, with his biker friends, comes to rescue Jimmy too. Slim locks eyes with Mrs. Livingston, who happens to be his old love wildfire. Turns out all of them are driving on a plane's runway. A plane takes off and Jimmy gets on board with an old pilot. They fly to Niagara Falls, but the plane crashes, making Jimmy fall into the waterfall. Thankfully, his bubble doesn't let him drown. He somehow manages to get out of the water and rushes his way to the wedding. Chloe and Mark are in the chapel, saying their vows, when Jimmy enters the church, claiming his love for her. Seeing this is his last chance to persuade Chloe, he puts his life in danger, and tears his bubble open to kiss her. However, just after it, he falls unconscious. As Chloe tries to wake him up, Mr. and Mrs. Livingston arrive there too. Mrs. Livingston mourns her son's death, when Mr. Livingston asks her to tell everyone the truth. Mrs. Livingston embarrassingly reveals that Jimmy doesn't have any condition, and he suddenly wakes up. It turns out that she had lied to him to keep him away from the evils of the world for all these years. Jimmy is shocked, but forgives his mother when she claims she did it to protect him. He finally embraces Chloe as everyone claps. Cut to a few months later. Chloe and Jimmy are getting married. Everyone he met during his journey is at the wedding. Mr. Livingston, Mrs. Livingston, and Slim are now a thruple. The movie ends as we see Jimmy and Chloe drive away in a car to their honeymoon. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications and please leave a like to support the channel.